Italy made a move that could reshape how NATO pilots learned to fight in the era of fifth generation warfare. With a 112 million euros investment, Rome has approved the construction of the first F-35 pilot training center outside the United States, a facility that will rise at Trapani Birgi Air Base in Sicily. At first glance, this sounds like a technical infrastructure project. In reality, it signals Italy's ambition to become Europe's strategic hub for advanced air power. Why is this important? Because the F-35 Lightning II isn't just another fighter jet, it's a digital node in a multinational combat network. Training pilots to fly it isn't about mastering a machine, it's about mastering a system that fuses intelligence, sensors and data across allied forces. Until now, nearly all such training has been concentrated in the United States. Europe's growing fleets have relied on limited capacity at American bases like Luke Air Force Base in Arizona. That dependency created a bottleneck, one that Italy now aims to break. Trapani Bergi will be both a national and international hub, Italy's third operational F-35 base and a multinational training site for NATO and European Joint Strike Fighter Partners. Construction begins this year, with initial training capability in 2028 and full operations in 2029. By that time, Europe's F-35 presence will have expanded dramatically. Over 600 aircraft are expected to be based across the continent by the early 2030s. The demand for pilot training, mission certification and joint interoperability is already outpacing capacity. Italy's decision reflects a deeper shift, the transformation of its air force from a regional player into a core contributor to NATO's fifth-generation architecture. The country already hosts two F-35 bases, Amendola in the south and Getty in the north and operates both the conventional takeoff F-35A and the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B. Now, with Trapani, it's adding a third layer, training. Combined with the Cameri Final Assembly and Checkout Facility, which assembles and maintains European F-35S, Italy is quietly turning into the only European state covering all phases of the F-35 life cycle, production, operation, maintenance, and now pilot training. The location isn't random. Trapani Bergi sits on the northwestern tip of Sicily, a crossroads between Europe, North Africa, and the eastern Mediterranean. It already hosts the 37th Wing Flying Eurofighter Typhoons, a unit experienced in quick reaction alert missions and multinational exercises. The geography is ideal for operations over sea and land, for NATO exercises, and for missions extending toward the Sahel or the Middle East. The region's relatively low air traffic density and mild weather make it an excellent year-round training environment. But this is not just about flying hours. Training fifth-generation pilots requires something far more complex than a long runway. The core of the new Lightning Training Center will be its simulation and secure information systems. Two full mission simulators will form the heart of the initial phase. Immersive classified systems replicating the F-35 cockpit, sensors, and battle network with near-perfect fidelity. These simulators allow pilots to train in high-risk, high-intensity combat scenarios without ever leaving the ground. Dogfighting is only a small part of the curriculum. The real training focuses on sensor fusion, electronic warfare, and data link tactics, learning to see and fight across a shared digital battle space. In fact, the F-35's true power lies in the way it connects with other aircraft, ships, and ground forces. A pilot doesn't just fly the jet, they orchestrate a symphony of data across domains. And for that, they need to train in a secure environment that replicates the networked battlefield. That's why Italy will build a special access program facility, a hardened, classified area for handling the software, systems, and mission data files that make the F-35 unique. Without such a facility, no nation can fully train its pilots on the jet's most sensitive capabilities. Step by step, Trapani will grow from a single squadron and two simulators into a multinational complex. One Italian operational squadron will share the base with an international training squadron, both supported by a joint infrastructure. Over time, more simulators and training devices will be added as demand increases. The vision is clear, to create a European counterpart to Luke Air Force Base, a node in a distributed global training network connecting the US, Italy, the UK, and potentially Australia and Japan. Why does this matter for NATO? Because joint operations depend on standardized training. In modern air campaigns, whether over the Baltics, the Mediterranean, or the Arctic, success depends on interoperability. When an Italian F-35 shares data with a Norwegian one or with a US Navy destroyer, there must be no difference in how each crew interprets, communicates, or reacts. A training center like Trapani ensures that pilots from multiple nations learn the same tactics, procedures, and digital language. It's the difference between merely flying together and truly fighting together. For European partners, it's also about autonomy and efficiency. 
Today, sending pilots to the U.S. for months of training is costly and logistically complex. As European fleets expand, the bottleneck becomes untenable. Training at Trapani will shorten timelines, reduce costs, and allow more frequent joint exercises. Moreover, it keeps highly sensitive data, including national mission parameters and electronic warfare profiles, within European territory. In an age of heightened security competition, that's not a trivial advantage. The project's timing also aligns with broader trends in European defense integration. After years of debate about strategic autonomy, Europe is beginning to act pragmatically rather than ideologically. Instead of duplicating American programs, it is reinforcing them where it adds value. Italy's Lightning Training Center fits that logic. It strengthens NATO's overall capacity while anchoring it in European geography. The United States retains overall oversight of the F-35 program, but training distributed across trusted allies enhances resilience. If geopolitical tensions or logistical disruptions limit transatlantic access, Europe will still have a fully functional training ecosystem. Economically, the benefits are also significant. The 112 million euros investment may seem modest, but the long-term impact extends to local industries, logistics, and defense technology supply chains. Each simulator, building, and security system involves specialized contractors, many of them Italian. In the longer term, Trapani could attract pilots, technicians, and instructors from across Europe, creating a steady flow of defense-related employment and expertise in Sicily. Strategically, the move consolidates Italy's leadership role within the European F-35 community. The country already trains pilots from the Netherlands and the United Kingdom at Amendola and maintains aircraft for multiple partners through Cameri. Adding Trapani as a multinational hub cements Italy's status as Europe's central pillar in the global F-35 enterprise. Few nations combine industrial participation, operational deployment, and now training authority at this level. It's worth noting that Italy has achieved this with relatively moderate defense spending compared to some NATO peers. Rather than chasing prestige platforms or symbolic programs, it has invested in nodes of influence, assembly lines, bases, and now training centers you know, that integrate directly into the alliance's structure. This is smart strategy, building indispensable capacity rather than redundant capability. So what will Europe's air power landscape look like by the time Trapani reaches full operational capability in 2029? Most likely a dense network of F-35 operators stretching from Norway to Poland to Italy, linked by shared data architectures and standardized training. The Lightning II will dominate NATO's frontline forces for decades and Trapani will be one of the places where that future is forged. For Italy, it's more than a construction project, it's a statement of strategic intent. By hosting the first F-35 training center outside the U.S., Italy is signaling that it's not merely a customer in the Joint Strike Fighter program, it's a co-architect. The question now is how other European nations will respond. Will they send their pilots and aircraft to Trapani for training? Will new multinational squadrons form under NATO frameworks? The answers will shape the balance of air power and industrial influence across the continent for years to come. In a world where air superiority is increasingly determined by data, networks and training rather than raw speed or firepower, Trapani Birgi is more than just a base. It's a symbol of Europe's growing maturity in the fifth generation age and a sign that the center of gravity in the F-35 program is slowly but steadily shifting across the Atlantic.